If you're buying steel from a place that looks like this, then you're paying too much money. Hey, I'm Doug with Artfully Rogue, and I'm gonna show you how to buy steel like a pro. Steel prices fluctuate. It's February 2021, and prices are going through the roof. To give you an example of why you should start looking into buying from a steel supplier, if you were to go to one of the big box stores and pick up a piece of square tubing that is one inch by one inch 065 wall, a three foot piece of that would cost just over $4 per foot. Now, if you go to a steel supplier and get the same type of square tubing, then you're gonna pay just over $1 per foot. See why it's important to check out the steel supplier? Step one, find a local steel supplier. Get on Google, get on your phone, get on your computer, do whatever you need to do and locate your local steel supplier. Give them a call and find out if they sell to the public. Some steel suppliers will actually just sell to businesses. If you find one or two that sell to the public while you have them on the phone, ask them what type of fabrication services they offer. Do they break steel? Do they shear steel? These are services that you may need in the future when you purchase your steel from that company. Now, to explain breaking real quick, breaking is the process of actually bending steel. So you wanna know what size brake they have. The steel supplier that I go to has a 10 foot brake, which means they can actually bend up to 10 foot in length. The same goes with the shear. They can actually cut up to 10 foot in length. Once you found a steel supplier in your area, you need to know what to ask for. Now in this video, we're gonna talk specifically about mild steel. I would say that there are five basic categories for the types of steels. You got round, square, angle, flat, and sheet. Now in most of your projects, you're gonna use one or more of these different types of steel. Now angle, flat, and sheet are pretty cut and dry. But when you start talking about round and square, well, there's a few things you need to know. Now with round, it can be hollow or it can be solid. Same thing with square, hollow or solid. And then with round, it could be tube or pipe. Which brings me to the next topic. If you're gonna be using round metal in your project, what are you gonna use, pipe or tubing? Here's a quick way to figure that out. If you have liquid or gas that's gonna be running through it, you're gonna want pipe. If you're gonna do something structural like a trailer or patio furniture or, well, anything else, uh, you're probably gonna want tubing. Now tubing actually comes in round and square, whereas pipe is just round. When you measure the thickness of pipe, you're gonna talk about schedule, schedule 40, schedule 80. When you talk about tubing, you're gonna talk about inches or decimals, like 065 or 095 or eighth inch. Pipe is measured on the ID, which is the inside diameter, whereas tubing is measured on the OD, outside diameter. Hopefully, that will help you decide what product to use for your project. Something else that may come up in the conversation at your steel supplier is whether or not you want hot rolled or cold rolled. Now this is referring to the process at manufacturing. Hot rolled is heated and cooled. Cold rolled is heated, cooled, and then annealed. With hot rolled, your measurements aren't going to be exact. You're not going to really notice it to the naked eye, but this is what makes the hot rolled steel a bit cheaper than cold rolled. Cold rolled is going to be more precise. Because of that annealing process, it allows it to take its time and kind of keep its shape. One of the easiest ways that you can tell the difference between hot rolled and cold rolled is hot rolled has mill scale on it, whereas cold rolled does not. It's usually covered in a bit of an oil to keep it from rusting. On some of my projects, I specifically get hot rolled because I like the finish. Like on my reception desk and on my doors, I will specifically get cold rolled sheet steel because it allows me to rust the doors the way I want to. Okay, so believe it or not, with the information I just provided you, although it was quick, you can walk into your steel supplier 
and order like a pro. Let's say, for example, you want a piece of one inch by one inch 065 wall square tubing that's cold rolled. They would know exactly what you're talking about. And maybe you also know what you're talking about now. Okay, let's talk about sheet steel for a second. Now with sheet steel, you can get it in cold rolled or in hot rolled. Again, cold rolled is oiled and hot rolled has mill scale. When I do my doors, I actually use a 22 gauge sheet steel, cold rolled. That way I can rust it the way I want to rust it. They do make a 24 gauge, but that's pretty thin for what I like to use. Uh, it tends to ripple a lot on the doors. Now when I do my water features, I will also get a cold rolled, but I'll get a 20 gauge. 20 gauge is a bit thicker, it's a little bit more sturdy, and I find that it's a better product for the water features. When I do my reception desk, I'll go all the way up to a 12 or 14 gauge sheet steel and I'll get it hot rolled. Again, because I like the finish and it's gonna be more rigid for a reception desk. Now, once you get past say 14 or 12 gauge in sheet steel, you start to get into fractions, eighth, three sixteenths, quarter inch. Now, if you're only needing small pieces for your project, talk to your steel supplier and see if they have a remnants section. Like in my steel supplier, they have a big rack that has all of the remnants. My steel supplier does outside projects. They have a huge fabrication area. So they may work on a gate or a big project for somebody and they'll have offcuts that are tossed over in the remnants pile. They're usually discounted because they want to try to get rid of them. So check to see if they have a remnants pile and you can dig through that often pennies on the dollar. They'll usually sell it by the pound or at a discounted price, as I mentioned. I'd like to take a moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community that puts out thousands of classes. And if you're into doing something creative or learning something new, maybe you want to learn a new skill or just kind of brush up on an old one. A class that I'm actually taking right now on Skillshare is called Becoming Creative, an artistic guide to creativity by Brent Eviston. Now, I try to do as much as I can in my shop that is creative, but sometimes you need a little extra motivation or some new ideas or some new pads. Skillshare can give that to you. Here's the coolest thing about Skillshare. It's ad free. So you can take these classes and you don't have to get interrupted by an ad. And because you're watching this video right now, if you click on the link below, you can get a 14 day free trial of premium Skillshare membership. That's less than $10 a month on an annual subscription. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down below, get that 14 day free trial subscription of the premium Skillshare membership. Let's get back to the video. So I talked to the guys at the metal supplier where I go and I asked them, what are some common questions that people ask when they come in, but you can tell automatically they don't know what they're talking about. Well, the very first one that most of them agreed on is person walks in, I'm building a project and I need some metal. Well, their response is obviously, what kind of metal do you need? Well, this is what gets them. Well, I just want standard metal, the metal that you might use in a desk. There is no standard metal for a desk. That's whatever you choose it to be. So try to stay away from asking your steel supplier to give you standard metal. All right, unless you're actually building something for the city or for the state that has code regulations or whatnot, standard metal really doesn't exist as far as, oh, this is designed for a desk or this is designed for a water feature. So this is why you have this information. You can choose between tubing, you can choose between, you know, cold rolled or hot rolled or, you know, so you see where I'm going with this. The second question that they get is referring to everything as stock. Round stock, square stock, flat stock. Get away from the word stock, all right? Round tube or round pipe. Square tube, angle, flat bar, sheet metal. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It is greatly appreciated. If you have any questions, please drop those down in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do so now. It is greatly appreciated. And if you'd like to get notified when I do post my videos, hit that bell icon that's somewhere out there. I have no idea. And I wanna give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. 
Barry and Marlene Rush, Judy Clothier, Fun Kiss Artistic Creations, and John Lettington. I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, blah, 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 blah.